Let's face it, there are millions of people that love shopping at Walmart. There's also millions of people that do not. But the fact stands, they generate over $500 billion a year in revenue. Amidst the towering success and global dominance of Walmart, a retail titan born from the modest vision of Mr. Sam Walton in 1962. There lies a precarious reality that threatens its very foundation. From its first store in Rogers, Arkansas, to over 12,000 outlets across 28 different countries, Walmart's journey is a testament to ambition and innovation. However, beneath its surface, folks, of commercial triumph, a storm of controversy and systematic challenges is brewing, hinting at a potential downfall if they don't get this in check. The retail giant, while celebrating for bringing affordable shopping to millions of people worldwide, is increasingly married by a series of legal and ethical entanglements. The big one, a discrimination lawsuits, has spotlighted a darker aspect of its operations with claims of gender and racist bias tarnishing its corporate image. A nodal settlement in 2019 accused Walmart of unequal pay and promotion practices against female employees, casting a long shadow over its commitment to equality. Moreover, though, Walmart's labor practices have come under intense scrutiny lately. Allegation of low wages, inadequate benefits, and punitive measures against employees, Activision paint a grim picture of its workplace culture. The specter of over 57 different class action lawsuits across 41 states accusing the retailer of flouting fair labor standards signals deep-rooted issues within its operational ethics. But the environmental practices further complicate Walmart's narrative. Its reliance on non-renewable energy sources contribute to plastic waste and adverse impact on local ecosystems calls into question its commitment to sustainability. A bribery scandal in Mexico in 2012 involving payments to expedite store permits underscores a culture of unethical shortcuts and regulatory circumventions, eroding public trust and inviting federal scrutiny. But while Walmart has made significant efforts contributing over $1.5 billion in 2022 towards various initiatives, these gestures are overshadowed by its operational controversies. Innovation moves like drone delivery services and a pledge to sustainable solutions hint at a possible redirection towards a more responsible and forethinking business model. Yet, we have to question these initiatives. Maybe a little too late. Too late if fundamental issues remain unaddressed. Walmart's massive workforce and its role in global economy cannot be understated. It's to provide affordable health care and support for veterans showcase a potential for positive impact. However, though, the persistent challenges of theft, particularly through self-checkout systems that nobody likes, and the looming threat of store closures due to financial losses, signify deeper vulnerabilities in its retail model. The first thing that should go is the self-checkout systems that would save them millions per year. As Walmart stands at this critical juncture, this huge conglomerate faces a stark reality, adapt or face decline. The need for comprehensive overhaul of its corporate practices 
a recommitment to maybe some ethnical standards and a genuine embrace for sustainability is urgent. Without significantly changes, Walmart risks not only its reputation and operational stability, but its very survival in an era increasingly defined by corporate responsibility and environmental stewardship. Walmart is standing on the edge of time right now. They have a choice to make. They can either try and make their 2.2 million employees happy, men and women, give them equal rights, equal pay. They also are standing on the abyss. If they slip and they don't come through, it could be the end of Walmart as we know it. And what would that do to this country? Where would that put a lot of people? The clock is ticking for this retail behemoth and the world is watching to see if it will rise to the challenge or succumb to the weight of its unresolved issues. Walmart has a chance to make things better for everyone, their employees, the environment, for everything. And still, with their buying power, still give millions of people those great prices that they need and come to know on a daily basis. Can Walmart do it? Comment below what you think will happen in the future of Walmart. Till next time, you all stay safe. Keep prepping. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.